Good morning, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Kozak Outdoors. Today, we're fishing Lake X. This is a top secret location. Uh, I can't really show you the ramp because, once again, it's top secret. We are in Virginia, and I'm looking to crush that three pound largemouth today. Three pound plus. That's the goal of today. Uh, I've had a couple days off from fishing. My little brother just got married. Congratulations, Jesse and Danielle. I'm so happy for the both of you. And, uh, yeah, so I haven't been fishing for a few days. Letting the bass kind of rest, you know. I've been really beating down the dinks. So, uh, now it's time to get out on the water and try to stick a few. Stay tuned. Ooh. A little bit of hydrilla. It's always nice. I'm waiting for my uh, fish finder to warm up or cool down to whatever the water temperature is. Actually, it looks pretty stable right now at 54.8. Which to me, that's like, where right before, it's a little, little too warm for really throwing jerk baits but it's just cool enough where they should be on a shallow crankbait bite if I can find some spots to throw them. Let's get after it. All right, so I don't want to fish finesse the whole day, but I just switched from a Nico rig, which technically, I just switched from a Nico rig, which usually has an open hook it's better for kind of open water, like rocky points and, and gravelly areas, to a shaky head, which is much more weedless. I'm noticing that this place has a lot of hydrilla and a lot of fallen timber. So with that in mind, we're gonna try to throw the shaky head on some of these logs, these deep pieces of wood, and see if we can't catch one. Oh no! <laughs> no! No matter where I go, no matter what I throw, the dinks will always find me. I'm glad that wasn't a good fish because uh, that was like one of the weakest hook sets I've ever done in all my life. Well, boys, I think it's safe to say that we just won. We've won the battle. Did I think I could catch a three pounder today? Yes. But did I think it would happen like this? Not quite. Really? <laughs> oh my gosh. Two-handed hook set, because I thought I had a chunk. And about six feet of water on a laydown, on a jig. That's what I get. Boy, oh boy, Virginia. Boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy, Virginia. Gotcha. Come on, be a decent fish. Oh no. No. I cannot publish another Dinkfest movie. The Dink episodes continue. Look at this. Look at this. She's skinny. 
I ain't, I've never seen, I've never seen such a gorgeous looking fishery with such a low quality of fish. It does make me feel a little bit better because now I'm pretty sure that I wasn't missing Mondos on the jig. Pretty sure there's just little ones pecking at it. I just, I don't have any more words at this moment in time. I am speechless. Uh, I am slimy. Come here, little guy. And I'm sick of dinks. Need a fish, need a fish about that big at least. Or, uh, I might just lose my mind. You might see me just take out a power drill and just drill a giant hole in the bottom of this kayak and just sink it. And I'll go down with this ship. Something decent. Bass? It is! It is a bass! Yes! Yes! Not a bad little chunk right there. Close to two pounds. Pretty chunky. I'm actually up in a creek right now and I had gone over this spot in 12 feet where I thought I marked two larger uh, fish right off the bottom. I tried to drag the shaky head across them as I came over them, didn't get a bite. Went down a little bit further, pulled the little U-turn, came back, threw it out to the same spot. She just sucked it in. Healthy fish, still not three pounds, but we're close, we're close. I got a feeling it might happen today. Stay tuned. That's what I'm talking about. Finally, a fish over 12 inches long. Uh, it's been a long time coming, uh, like th three trips now since I've, no, more than that, because I have been skunked a lot. It's, it's been a long time coming to catch a fish over 12 inches. Most of you up there at home are like, that's not even a big fish. What's up, what's, what is wrong with this kid? And, uh, well, a lot of things are wrong with me, but mainly the fishing's been tough. Stay tuned. We're going to keep throwing the shaky head, throwing a crankbait as well, and a little swim bait. I think we're going to catch one. I think we're going to catch one to be proud of. Well, that is going to wrap up today's episode of Kozak Outdoors. I'm tired. I'm really tired. Uh, I'm really tired. These dink fests are getting old. I really need the bite to turn on. I don't understand why it hasn't. It's uh, November 11th, the day I'm filming this. Shout out to all the veterans out there. Thank you for your service. Uh, in my opinion, every day is Veterans Day. Nobody should get more respect than those that serve our country um, thank you if I have any vets out there watching I know there's at least one of you watching thank you for your service thank you to everybody that's active and retired um, yeah 
I've got some things coming up in my personal life, so I won't be fishing as much. I gotta get refocused on what's important um, besides fishing. So I'll be fishing probably once a week. Videos might slow down, but hopefully I can keep some fish in the boat and keep some videos coming out. But yeah, it's been tough here in Virginia. It's been tough, the bite's been tough. I feel like the fall bite never happened. It was here for like a day or two and then it got hot again and then it got super cold. And now that it feels like fall to me, I guess it doesn't feel like fall to the fish. So I don't know if they're in winter mode or if they are in like late summer pre-fall transition mode, but they're just not where they should be. I don't know. All I can say is uh, thank you for watching. I'm sorry for so many dinks being caught and uh, I'm sorry for my sense of humor taking a little back seat. It's, it's tough to stay positive out there when it's just uh, dink fest after dink fest, waking up early, getting short hours of sleep at night so you can get out and beat traffic, be the first one on the water just uh, to catch a few little dinks. But don't give up. I'm not gonna give up, but I am gonna slow it down a little bit just so I can focus on some other things in life. Gonna keep fishing, keep teaching everybody out there how to fish, how to enjoy the outdoors. And uh, yeah, please subscribe on the next little image that pops up at the end of the video. You'll see a little fish icon. It looks like, it looks kind of like that right there. Click on that little icon. It will subscribe you to the channel. It's absolutely free and you will get notifications for all the content dropping here shortly. Leave a comment. Let me know how fishing is in your part of the world. I'm in Virginia and it is just, it's tough. So let me know where you're at. Let me know how the fishing is there. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just this area or maybe it's the whole nation right now or at least the whole East Coast struggling. Uh, maybe I should change my focus from bass to stripers or crappie or something, at least for a little bit. Uh, if you like that idea, let me know in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe. I'm Kozak and I'm out.